In this module, we will discuss the roll modes and the combined pitch and roll modes. First, let's review the flight mode displays. Auto throttle mode is located on the left. Engaged roll and armed roll are located in the center. Engaged pitch and armed pitch are located on the right. The engaged modes are displayed on top in green and the armed modes are displayed on the bottom in white. The AFDS engaged Autoland status is positioned below the roll mode display. Now let's discuss the roll mode selections. They are LNAV, Heading Select, Heading Hold, and Localizer. LNAV relates to the flight management system and will be discussed later. First, let's look at Heading Hold. Pushing the Heading Hold switch selects the Heading Hold mode. Heading Hold is displayed on the PFDs. In the Heading Hold mode, the autopilot holds airplane present heading. When Heading Hold is selected while in a turn, the autopilot rolls out of the turn and holds the heading which exists when the wings become level. Now let's discuss the Heading Select mode. The Heading Select mode is used to turn the airplane to a selected heading. Rotating the Heading Selector sets the desired heading values into the Heading window. The selected heading is also displayed in magenta on the PFD and ND. Pushing the Heading Select switch selects the mode. Heading Select appears in the flight mode displays. The autopilot commands a turn to the selected heading in the nearest direction. When in the Heading Select mode, selecting a new heading commands the autopilot to turn in the same direction which the heading selector was turned. This occurs even when the heading change exceeds 180 degrees. Rotating the bank angle limit selector sets the maximum bank the autopilot will use in the heading select mode. Settings of 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25 degrees are available. A limit of 15 degrees is shown here. In the auto position, the bank angle limit varies from 15 degrees to 25 degrees depending on true airspeed, flap position, and V2. Question. Answer A is correct. In the auto mode, the limit is 15 degrees to 25 degrees, depending on your true airspeed, flap position, and V2. Question. Answer B is correct. Rotating the bank angle limit selector sets the maximum bank the autopilot will use in the heading select mode. The last roll mode is the localizer mode. In the localizer mode, the autopilot captures and tracks the tuned localizer. This switch is used for localizer only approaches. Only a single autopilot can be used. Pushing the localizer switch selects the localizer mode. The proper localizer frequency and course selection must be set prior to localizer capture. 
This can be accomplished either manually or automatically through the FMS CDU. Navigation radio tuning is discussed in the navigation radio module. Localizer is displayed on the PFD and the autopilot is armed to capture the localizer. Heading select or heading hold mode can be used to intercept the localizer. In this example, we'll use the heading select mode. Localizer capture cannot occur if the intercept angle exceeds 120 degrees. The localizer capture point is variable and depends on intercept angle and closure rate. At localizer capture, localizer mode is engaged and the autopilot turns the airplane to track the localizer. This mode change is shown in green on the PFDs. Also at localizer capture, the selected heading window and selected heading markers automatically change to coincide with the front course. The selected heading may now be changed. For example, the missed approach heading may be set. The localizer engaged mode may be disengaged by selecting another roll mode. Disengaging the autopilot and turning off both flight directors or engaging the go-around mode. The go-around mode will be discussed later in this part. Before localizer capture, the loc mode may be disengaged by pushing the loc switch a second time or selecting another roll mode. Here are the major points we have discussed about the roll mode selections. Heading select turns the airplane to the selected heading. Heading hold holds present heading. If engaged in a turn, the wings are first leveled. Localizer captures and tracks the tuned localizer. Now let's discuss the combined pitch and roll modes. The combined pitch and roll mode selections are Approach and Takeoff Go Around or Toga. First, let's discuss the approach selection. Pushing the approach switch arms autopilot and the localizer and glide slope modes. Either the localizer or the glide slope may be captured first. Glide slope capture can occur when intercept track angles within 80 degrees of the localizer course. Localizer capture can occur when intercept track angles within 120 degrees of localizer course. With an autopilot engaged, pushing the approach switch arms the other two autopilot systems for automatic engagement. The localizer is intercepted and captured as explained earlier. The selected heading automatically changes to coincide with the selected ILS course and the PFDs show localizer mode engaged. At glide slope capture, the engaged pitch mode changes to glide slope and the autopilot begins tracking the glide slope. The glide slope capture point can vary slightly but occurs at approximately one quarter dot. Below 1500 feet radio altitude with localizer and glide slope captured, the flare and rollout modes both arm and appear in the PFDs. Command is replaced by LAN 3 when the three autopilots have engaged and the AFDS is configured for a category three approach and landing. At 500 feet radio altitude, with localizer and glide slope captured, the autopilot begins runway alignment. No enunciation occurs on the PFD. If a crosswind exists, the autopilot applies rudder to remove part of the crab angle and establishes a slight slip. At approximately 50 feet radio altitude, Depending on airplane closure rate with the ground, the autopilots begin the flare. As the flare starts, 
The PFDs display flare engaged. Slightly before touchdown, the PFDs show rollout mode engagement and the autopilots control the rudder and nose wheel steering for touchdown and landing rollout guidance. After landing, disengaging the autopilot deactivates the rollout mode and permits manual nose wheel steering for taxi operation. After the localizer and glide slope have been captured, the approach can only be terminated by disengaging the autopilots and turning off both flight directors or engaging the toga mode. Now let's discuss the combined pitch and roll mode, toga. The toga mode can be selected on the ground for takeoff or in the air for go around. Pushing the toga switch on either thrust lever 2 or 3 selects the toga mode. Use of the toga mode for takeoff is a flight director only mode. The toga takeoff functions will be discussed in the flight director module. Now let's discuss the go around function of the toga mode. The toga go around function can be used with multiple autopilots or with a single autopilot. The go-around function is armed by capturing the glide slope or when the flaps are out of up. The arming of the go-around function is not shown on the PFDs. During descent, the go-around function disarms and cannot be engaged two seconds after passing through five feet radio altitude. Pushing the toga switch engages the toga mode. The PFD displays thrust for auto throttle, toga for roll and pitch. All three autopilots remain engaged. The FMC provides thrust required up to full go around thrust to maintain a 2,000 foot per minute rate of climb. Pushing the toga switch a second time selects full go around thrust and changes the auto throttle to thrust reference mode. The thrust functions will be discussed in the auto throttle module. In review, with go around armed, pushing the toga switch starts the go around maneuver. The auto throttle advances the thrust levers, autopilot pitch increases to maintain the selected airspeed in the IAS mock window and autopilot roll control maintains ground track. Pushing the toga switch once, the auto throttle is maintaining a rate of climb of approximately 2,000 feet per minute. The elevators are controlling pitch to maintain the selected speed. The airplane levels off at the selected altitude. The pitch mode changes to altitude and two of the autopilots disengage. The roll mode is still in the toga mode and remains until another roll mode is selected. The auto throttle remains in thrust mode until speed or VNAV is selected. Below 400 feet radio altitude, the toga mode can be terminated only by disengaging the autopilots and turning off both flight directors. Above 400 feet radio altitude, the toga mode can be terminated by selecting a different pitch mode and a different roll mode. Either one may be selected first. When the first pitch or roll mode other than toga is engaged, all autopilots except the first in command automatically disengage. If the pitch mode is the first one changed, autopilot roll remains in the toga mode. If the roll mode is the first one changed, autopilot pitch remains in the toga mode. 
Question. Answer A is correct. The go-around function is armed by capturing the glide slope or with the flaps out of up. Question. Answer B is correct. During descent, the go-around function disarms and cannot be engaged two seconds after passing through five feet radio altitude. Question. Answer B is correct. Below 400 feet radio altitude, the toga mode can be terminated only by disengaging the autopilot and turning off both flight directors. Question. Answer C is correct. With toga mode engaged, the autopilot roll will maintain ground track. 